hello everyone welcome back once again to a fierce kitchen with friends and family cook i believe the grace of god is keeping us and we are all doing well i'm coming your way with this amazing recipe you would have to include in your menu as we approach the festive seasons today we are making some cake or party donuts that would actually melt in your mouth so for the ingredients we have three cups of flour nicely passed through a strainer we have one cup of evaporated milk i have 130 13 grams of butter, salted butter. I have three eggs. I have two tablespoons of powdered milk. I have two teaspoons of baking powder. I have 125 grams of sugar as well as some vanilla essence. So we are first off going to start by mixing up all the dry ingredients. So into the flour, I'm going to go ahead and add my baking powder as well as my milk powder stir nicely and then set aside we are not adding salt here because we have our butter with some salt if you are using unsalted butter then you would have to include just a quarter teaspoon of some salt yes just to balance the taste so i'm going to take another clean bowl add in my butter and then my sugar and i'm going to beat this or whisk this until it is almost smooth When it reaches an almost fine texture, add in the first egg and whisk until it is very well incorporated. Add in the second egg and then the third egg. And this is how our beta is going to look like. Remember to scrape the sides of your bowl whilst doing this. There is one problem we have with our flour here in Finland. We really don't know whether we are using soft flour, hard flour, self-raising flour because they are all in Finnish. So sometimes it is very, very challenging. At this point, I add in one teaspoon of vanilla essence and then whisk that as well to mix it up. And then we are going to add our flour in bits. Add in the flour, add in a little bit of milk. I realized I was making a lot of mess in the process. So at a point when I add in the flour, I whisk it with the machine without it being turned on to make sure it is a little bit mixed so I don't end up spreading the flour all over the place. Yes, so we add in the flour, whisk a little bit, add in the milk until we are done pouring all our flour. And at a point I had to go in with my hands because it was getting a little bit stiff because I felt that was the easiest way to go about it. And kindly note that you have to make sure your hands are nicely washed clean. Yes, before you go into your beta with your hands. At this point, we are good to go. So on the side, I have some heated up oil and kindly make sure you are frying on low medium heat and try to drop in small balls of your donut, not so big because this is quite a thick mixture. So if you don't take care, you are going to end up with donuts not being cooked in the middle. So dropping in the donuts is a very, very challenging part for me. I am learning, I am still not there, I am getting there. So if you find it very difficult to drop in the donuts with your hands and you have the ice cream scoop at home, you can also use that as well. And we are going to be keeping a close eye on our donuts so they don't get bent. And just like this, turning it, our donuts are ready and just look how it looks so amazing and so delicious and you wouldn't want to go through this christmas season without having this on your menu it was so 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 good delicious and the kids kept asking for more thank you all so so much for your time with us time is precious and if you are able to watch this video till the end i say god richly bless you and may your week be lovely and fruitful. Till I come your way in the next video, keep safe and don't forget to keep your little light shining. Bye! A Fierce Kitchen
Dead Dell. Dead Dell. So tasty. 